So silver and gold and the uh, the mining stocks had a very, very nice down day, uh, or very big down day uh, on Friday last week. And now we're moving into this week. And so I want to do a bit, a bit of a technical analysis update on what's happening right now on the short term basis. Yesterday, I released a video based on the very long term, but what we could expect to see moving forward on a short term basis and stuff that I'm actually looking out for. So let's actually get, let's get straight into it. Don't place a trade based on what you'll see in this video because there is no guarantees of making a profit in the market. It takes you a long time to become a good trader. So this video here is just to educate you to become a much better trader. Alrighty traders, before I get started into it, uh, if you haven't done so, then make sure you go to johnsflashsale.com where I'm releasing my trading course for $7 only. My brand new breakthrough breakthrough trading course. If, you're, if you are struggling with trading right now, if you're having a hard time when it comes to these markets right now, guys, you need that. You need that course. Let's get it seven bucks. You get a money back guarantee as well too. So if you're not happy, I'll let you keep the course and give you these seven bucks back. <laughs> Just get the help you need, okay? So go to johnsflashshow.com to get that $7 trading course. Go there right now. When I'm looking at gold and looking at silver and looking at all these mining indexes, one of the biggest mistakes that I used to make, and I know a lot of traders are making, are two different things. One, they have candlestick charts, right? They, have, they, they look at the candlesticks. And two, so I explain the reasons why that uh, space, explain the reasons why that one is, is a bad is, is not good and also two they look too much close right so what a lot of people are doing is they're looking at the charts like this they zoom in close up right so what's happening right now is that they uh, they are looking at the markets from say a very 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 close up view which may which means maybe like a month maybe even a couple of months worth of time on the chart. So there's two big mistakes that most traders make that is causing them to have an emotional reaction to a short-term move and they're completely forgetting the larger picture at play and what's happening right now. And so therefore, what I strongly recommend you doing is not looking at candlesticks because if you're looking for, you know, red, especially if you're looking for green candlestick today, you know, green candlestick, oh my goodness, that's good news, you know. Red candlestick, oh my goodness, you know, the market's manipulated. And by the way, guys, let's actually, let's actually, let me actually, let me actually put a pause there for a minute. Market manipulated. Are you guys serious? I spoke to someone just recently and I've heard so many people saying, just, you know, if the market doesn't go up, the market's manipulated. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> are you serious? It's like the, the, the gold had a flush down. You know, gold actually went for from the bottom. <laughs> Think about this, guys. Logically, okay, gold went for a a, 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 a almost eleven percent run from the low, and then all we've done is just have a five percent pullback, which is just fifty percent of this this move up. Oh, and the market's manipulated. <laughs> it's like, come on, they're suppressing it. It's like, come on, guys. You, you've got to, you've got to pull your backside out of your face, and and you know, and clear that clutter, and stop listening to this bullshit out there, because it's not going to help you. Look at the facts. Just because something doesn't go up straight away doesn't mean it's manipulated. Yes, they may be. There may be facts out there that that's manipulating, but. Just because the market's not doing what you wanted to do doesn't mean that doesn't mean that they're manipulating it. You know what I mean, guys? Like seriously, come on. And, you know, and, and and if you really want to say them, you know, that they're suppressing it. You know, it's like bullshit, right? Look at gold. Really? Look at gold. Gold has been doing what? Gold for the last what is that? Almost two and a half years has been in a big bull market. It went from. It went from almost one thousand dollars to two thousand dollars. Like I don't know about you, but that's called almost doubling in price. <laughs> it's like, come on, guys. You know, like you can see here, we have you know people like, oh, they're suppressing gold again, or blah blah blah. It's like, guys, seriously, from the low of where the bull market started to the high, that was almost an eighty percent eighty percent increase in gold. Like, come on, guys, seriously. We see an 80% move in gold, and then for the last six months, we, we, you know, for the last two and a half years, but the last sort of five, six months hasn't been doing much. Like, oh, they're manipulating it, they're, you know, they're suppressing it. It's like, come on, guys, seriously. Look at the facts for what's really going on in the markets, and instead of this, instead of buying into someone else's bullshit, like, you know what? I'm gonna listen to this, but I'm gonna I'm gonna question it, and I'm gonna look at, I'm gonna check out the facts for for, for myself. Um, so, anyway. Yes, that may be true. Like even with silver, right? Look what's happened with silver. Silver went for an enormous move up. Oh, they're they're manipulating silver again. Like really, look look at this weekly chart on silver. If I take everything off the screen here for a minute, this is this is weekly. This is the weekly chart on silver. 
Silver from the low through to the high went for what? That's a 160% increase from, from where it was, from $12. And then we rose up 160, 170% increase. And then suddenly we went through a 170% increase from, you know, uh, from where it was uh, from the very low to the very high. And now we're just not really doing much, just having a bit of a resting phase. Oh, the market's manipulated. They're suppressing it again. Come on, guys. Bullshit. Come on. Let's actually be real here, all right? Do you want to trade well? Do you want to see the facts that you can actually help yourself move forward? Or do you want to keep buying into this bullshit out there that 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 that, that you're being led to around this other crap out there that, that, that you're listening to, okay? Please don't do that. Um, and guys, I'm a bit fired up about this because people, people, people just take so much on black and white on what other people are saying. They're suppressing gold again, and I'm, they're, they're suppressing silver again. So if I go back to if I go back to gold, and if I look at it from a larger perspective, even from a candlestick chart, let me take that moving let me take that moving average off the screen here for a minute. Actually, you know what? Let me just stay there. If I take this from a larger perspective, what do we see here? forget today, forget what happened on Friday. Let's actually look at the big picture here, right? The big picture is what? The big picture is still stair stepping up. And if you look at gold, gold does this. Any bull, any healthy bull market does this. What does it do? Say it with me. You probably, <laughs> you're probably not going to know what I'm going to say, right? It has higher highs, higher lows, nice stair stepping movements in the markets. And now we're just having a nice pullback. Because, guys, the market went from, from, from this point through here to this point here, it went for a 43% move, and then all we've done is have a 15% pullback in gold. Oh, they're manipulating it. Oh, my goodness, they're suppressing it. It's like, guys, no. Pull your head out of your backside, okay, pumpkins? Don't be, <laughs> don't be like so like, oh, my goodness, okay? Because, guys, you can either listen to this bullshit out there and get so in time on what's happening. Let's go back to daily chart for a minute. So in time on what's happening right now on this daily chart, which is a big mistake. Or secondly, you can look at it from a larger perspective to see what's really going on. And then you can start to make some informed decisions. Now, I'm not saying the market, I'm not saying gold is not going to continue down a little bit more. It may, it may do that. But when you look at the, when you look at it from a larger perspective in gold, you could see that even if we did have a bit more of a pullback, guys, this is still part of a very healthy bull market. And the markets love to do this. This is actually what you want to see in gold. So you guys are getting a knickers in a knot and getting worried about, oh my goodness, this one down day that's actually happened here. It's like, guys, one of the worst things that you can do as a trader is get so emotional, so emotional about one day, one day. One day the market is down and people freak out. It's like, guys, it's one day. What happens, what happens, and then suddenly your, your mind races for all this really bad things to happen, right? What happens if this little down day was just a nice little pullback, and then suddenly we did this? And then two weeks from now, we're at all-time new highs, and you're like, oh man, what was I worried about here? Like, you just never know, right? It's like, we actually went from a low point from here. Oh, I covered that before, right? But you can see what I'm saying there. So, uh, guys... Please don't, please, don't, just because the market doesn't do what you want it to do, doesn't mean the market's manipulated or they're suppressing it and so on and so forth. Bullshit. Absolutely BS. Once again, you look at gold. Gold has made an enormous move. Look at silver. Gold, silver's made an enormous move. And then for the last five, six months, it's been going sideways, really just a slight little downward trend, right? Um, a nice, and uh, guys, it's a nice, healthy, and the and the, the big picture is the, the weekly chart is the most important thing to you, right? When you're looking at the big term, big long term trends, this big long term weekly charts, and what we're seeing here right now on this big long term weekly charts is not is not a change in trend in gold. It is just a short term pullback in a nice healthy bull market. Because what is a healthy bull market? A healthy bull market is when the market runs up. And has a pullback, runs up, has a pullback, runs up, has a pullback, runs up, has a pullback, and then runs up again. So we may be getting ready for another maybe couple of months with a sideways movement here before we see another, maybe, maybe it's the second half of this year that gold starts to pick back up and we go for a run with the new highs and we start to see the fireworks. Who knows? But right now, guys, don't get your niggas in a knot, right? Just relax. Calm. It's in the bag. I always tell my private clients, always tell my private clients, that the what that we always need to keep an eye on the master time frame. 
So if you're looking, that's the reason why I started this video. You're probably saying, shut up, John, get into the video. I have, I have been, right? It's one of the things I wanted to talk about today. Because if you want to become a good trader, you've got to become, you've got to start to remove the emotions from, from trading. And one of the best ways to do that is one, have a plan of when you're getting in and when you're getting out. Um, if you're trading, I mean short term, or if you're investing, what's going on. But then also keep an eye on those long-term charts. The weekly charts are the master time frame because the weekly charts are king, right? And the, the exact same thing that happened through these, these points right here. So see this pullback right here? The exact, the exact same thing happened, right? As soon as these pullbacks here, or as soon as this big, look at this big flush down here. These periods here is when people are freaking out. You know, you're getting, oh my goodness, it's pulling back. It's not too much people freaking out. And then boom, it goes for run again. Oh my goodness, it's pulling back. Not much going on. Oh my goodness, it's gonna crash. Boom, it runs again. You know, and then we, oh, flash crash, that's it, it's all over. Boom, runs again. You know, yeah, this is this is, this is is Friday. It's like, oh, what? So try to keep, what you want to do, guys, is, is the best things to do when looking at this and like what's coming here is firstly, bring up the daily charts, but I recommend bringing up a chart that looks like this and, and having like one year worth of data on there, one year. And so as you can see, what have I done here? Two things, I've, two things I've done to help you become a good trader. Remember, to become a good trader, you need to become removed as much motion as possible. How you do that is one, your risk management. So yes, you're gonna have losing positions. But secondly, making good informed decisions. And how do you make good informed decisions? You make good informed decisions from looking at the market from a non-emotional point of view. And how do you do that? Forget you're actually in a position. It's like, okay, market, what are you doing? Market, speak to me, charts, talk to me. In that, in that $7 trading course, I think I've got three videos walking you through chart reading strategies of how to read the market. You know, that's that's a, an hour and a half. I think there's like, I don't know, an hour and a half worth of, worth of education just on that alone. And then there's a few trading systems and so on and so forth in, in that $7 trading course link below. Um, what a plug for the $7 trading course, right? Um, <laughs> shameless plug. Um, <laughs> But looking at what we're seeing here right now with gold, um, as I said before, guys, the first thing first thing I recommend you do is bring it, bring it back to just a white background, not grids. One thing you want to do, guys, you want to remove as much crap as possible. Remove the moving averages. Now, the moving averages are good, but when you're trying to get a gauge on what's happening with the markets, that's the market that's most important. So firstly, bring it back to just black bars. Red and green candles are going to cause emotion within you. Right, and secondly, remove the grid lines like this here. There's so much clutter on people's charts that they're totally forgetting the very the number one thing that most people need to be doing. And the number one thing that most people need to be doing is focusing on the, the market, not the RSI or the stochastic or the MACD. It's like what a lot of radish, right? No, once you fully understand these markets, right? Okay, guys, my first five years, I lost quarter of a million dollars in debt. And I was doing all that. I focused on all the indicators and not the market. Remember guys, the market, the price action, the charts, the patterns are from all the collective wisdoms and all the big you know, in, long-term investors, short-term investors. And the more you can start to understand these markets, the, the, better, the better trader you'll be. So first thing is guys, is that remove it from and have just a white background with just black bars. Now, all I want you to do is when you're looking at that, is look at it from a point of view of of we're trying to see what's going on when it comes to the to, to the peaks and the troughs. You know what I mean? So um, so the first thing we need to be doing is because okay, so where where are we? So we have a major low, major high, sideways, major low, and then we went through a bit of a sideways period. We probably went major high. That was a major low point. So we went down sideways, major low. There's a major high point. There's a major low point. There's a major high point, and now we're seeing this here. So basically like a bit of a double top sort of formation coming on here. So the reason why you want to be doing that is just to get a gauge. It's like, okay, cool. Well, I can step back and, you know, if we do break below 1750, then yeah, we're probably like to see a bit more, a bit more downward, a bit, a bit more downward move. Um, but until then, hang on a minute, we're just getting, we, we had a very nice rise here and then we're getting a bit of a pullback. It's actually probably a good chance we're going to start to see this soon. And if we do see that, what does it mean? And then suddenly it means that, oh my goodness, this is now, we're starting to get a reset from, from the buyers moving. And especially if we can hold and rally up to above 1950, guess what? Boom! That's when the fireworks start to happen. So, let me take a breath here. <laughs> I'm not breathing right now. Guys, you can do so well from trading. You really can. One of the most important things to do is 
look at the longer term charts at least one year worth of daily charts uh firstly bring it back to black bars so you can see what's going on and thirdly always keep an eye on that longer term weekly charts right because the long term weekly charts you look at and just look at trend analysis lows and highs um and you know uh, sometimes the market's in a nice upward trend and you can see it just like we're in right now nice upward trend sometimes we're in a downward trend and sometimes there's no one in control that's okay it means that there's sideways there's no trend at all this is a downward trend this is an upward trend and something simple as that guys can, can remove the emotion so as i said before what we're seeing right now in the daily charts is not a big thing why because we had from this low point to this high point and now we're just getting a pullback it's like guys that's a nice this is beautiful this is what you want to see what you don't want to see in a market is what's happening with bitcoin right now okay because when the market the market needs to reset this is a nice healthy bull market by the way when it comes to gold this is what you want to be in when you when you see in a market what you don't want to be in is when the market when the market just suddenly starts to do that and just goes straight up because when the market starts to do that it starts to become too overheated and now bubbles start to create and that's when crashes happen right so you don't want to be in a market that actually has the potential of actually having a crash right you want to be in a market that's in a nice healthy bull market that's likely to continue um you know for for many years to come now i do believe from now through to 2025 we, we are we're going we're likely to see bitcoin type of action in the miners and the metals we're looking at gold and silver and so on and so forth um but we just net we just never know when that happens when we start to go vertical you need to keep an eye for that because that's called a bubble vertical action is a bubble um just like big you know people like, no it's not trying like what a, what, what a lot of rage well, it's like, if you look at bitcoin before right if you look at bitcoin let's actually go to bitcoin here bitcoin you know bitcoin back here but bitcoin what bitcoin look at this here vertical move in bitcoin and then literally 80 percent of the move um actually happened re retraced you don't want to see big moves up and that's where like a lot of stocks you're seeing very 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 big long-term moves up vertical moves it becomes too overheated it becomes a bubble and it needs to snap back um and and prior what, what the the market needs to come back to it to a bit of an equilibrium and that's that's what, what you're probably going to see with a lot of things with you know even with tesla right now if i look at tesla i'll get back to the mining stocks in a minute but even with tesla right now tesla's in a massive bubble um and you know looking at tesla tesla is just absolutely just crazy so we will see a, a hard and fast snapback out of tesla i don't know when but tesla is even even one of those things so looking back now guys moving forward into the markets firstly bring up the long-term picture so let me actually go through the uh th through, through the through the silver and gold stocks and the silver and gold and then we'll get into the mining stocks as well too so guys um if you can see here once again looking at this larger picture all we had was just a bit of a down day here so you know that's nothing to be worried about like again the lows are here so it's like we just got to wait and see what actually happens coming out of out of gold because we're, we're still in the vicinity of where it's been really this is the vicinity the vicinity that it's been for the last six months so we really haven't actually had a very big down move or a very big up move we really just been generally just sideways um so you can see right take the remove the emotion from it. it's like not one day and even even from even from silver perspective like look at silver all silver did right was just have this bit of a down day and we closed here when you look at it from the bigger perspective we're just still we're actually at the high of the range we have been for the last six months remember i'm gonna say that again we're at the high of the range for the last six months so it's like why are we getting so frustrated see what i mean guys it's like we're just like oh okay now it doesn't mean we're going to do this but it just starts it helps you put things in a more perspective and start to remove the emotion out. some of the gdxj you know gdxj bit of a down move but hang on a minute once again we're still in the vicinity of where we've been for the last six months we are not going through a big sharp move or a big up move if we do we need to reassess and then bend with the market because guys we only can take a professional traders all that responding to what the market is giving us and not what we and not what we want to do if we get into a position and it starts to do something different then we need to get out of it um and same with the gdx same same sort of thing as well too does gdx is actually looking a bit more of a bearish move once again we're actually at the lower end of that the sil silver like the sil the, the silver junior stocks guess what we actually made a new high and now we got a little bit of a pullback and we're here we're actually at the top end of the range for the last six months in the silver junior stocks sil same sort of thing what are we say it with me we're at the top end of the range for the last six months and then this is all we had here so as you can see right now guys this doesn't apply so when i say when i say silver stocks and gold stocks 
This does not apply to all gold stocks, right, guys? Listen to what I'm saying here. Not all gold stocks. If you you you, not, you must apply your analysis to that individual in, that individual gold or silver stock that 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 you are, that you're going to be looking at. You don't make the mistake that you think okay, SIL is got likely is, is is in a very nice position to make a very nice move to the upside. So therefore, I'm going to buy some silver stocks because not not all silver stocks are going to go up. Um, and you need to make sure that you're applying your analysis to that. So. <sighs> There we go, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's session. Please, guys, please, 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 if you want to become professional at this and do really, really well from this, I hope some things that I've said to you in this video, I've gone more I've gone more coaching side to you guys today instead of more playful Johnny side. Um, I love what I do because I've learned a lot of things like this to remove the emotion and not get so emotionally drawn into one day or and because I'm always seeing from a larger perspective what does it really mean and what's really going on. Um, because the market's always talking to us and the more we can apply the things that I've talked about here, the more less emotional we are about the markets, the more you can make much, much, much better decisions in the markets. And that's what I want for you guys. Every single one of you can become amazing traders. This is not a get rich quick thing. And if you are getting very nervous and you got a very emotional last weekend and you're very, very worried about what's happening right now, maybe that's a sign that 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 you that there's a, there's a lot of things you need, you need to get sorted maybe one you're not even having a plan when you're getting into the market you're just doing it because you just think it's a good idea secondly maybe you're having too much risk on every single trade um, so there's these things if you're very 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 worried about the market going down and you can't have the market going down um, then it's time for you to start to look at either one of those two things uh, firstly look at uh, look at look at what I've actually said in, in today's video but uh, first, that's the first thing, and secondly, look at what look at you look at your trading. Are you actually having? Are you have? Are you following some sort of a plan, or just getting in? Oh well, this this looks like a good stock. I'm going to get into it. Or, and secondly, risk management. The whole the fact of the matter is, guys, it doesn't matter what position you get into. Some of those positions are going to be losing. Are going to be losing trades. So, um, if you're worried about one or two, so one of these two, one or one one of these two trades actually may, being a losing position, you're trading way too much money in your account. It's causing you to be emotional. And when you're emotional, you actually make bad decisions. And bad decisions end up making you making you lose money along, uh, um, you know, at, at the end of the day. So, anyway, guys, that's this is a little little bit of a coaching video for you today, guys. Um, and I really, really, really want you to do really well. So, guys, make sure you grab that seven dollar trading course below because if you like this sort of stuff I'm doing right now, then I know you're going to absolutely love that. Um, and I know you're going to absolutely really, really enjoy that, guys. Um, and my last note I want to say with this, guys, before I finish off with today's video. One of the things that I must say is this, is that um, when looking at these markets and looking at these, these trades here, look at, your, look at your, your, your trading as a long-term thing. And are you building solid foundations to get better and better and better and better and better at? Right, and what I mean by that is that if, you, if you're just, if, you, if, this, if you're trading down here and you're trading because you just think it's a good idea, Good old thinking, right? If you're just trading down here, this is your trading, and you think you, this is, you think it's a good idea. There's no really good foundations, right? But if you build a solid foundation of what I teach in the trading course and so on and so forth, and you have a trading plan, you, you're not trying to make a lot of money really, really quickly. You actually start to do this, and five years from now, you you, you have a really good chance of making really good money, even starting from very, very, very small trading account because you've learned the art of what goes into a good trader. So you can you can be a really really good trader and turn a small trading account in over a few period turning into a significant trading account. You can take a you can take a bad trader and and blow blow a large trading account up. Make sense, guys? So anyway, that's the last point I want to make there. What foundation are you building on? If you want to be in the market, the markets will be here thirty or ten years from now, or even five years from now. The question is, will you?